Hello everyone and welcome back to our little corner of Jurassic Park Island where we have our little Jurassic Park that is not really so little anymore. Look at all of these dinosaurs. Dinos, dinos, dinos as far as the eye can see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look, oh, our little Iguanodon, a Taurosaurus, Oranosaurus. Oh my goodness. There's just so many. And look at, I love how we managed to put some of the flying reptiles next to the safari lodges because I imagine how cool would that be to look out of your window and see those guys flying around. That would just be amazing. Oh my gosh. But everyone is doing quite well and I have been very busy collecting coins because now that I know we can finally get the living volcano if we work hard enough. But that's, oh, what is the living volcano again? It's like almost 3 million coins. Uh, let me check. All the way at the end of decorations, active volcano. There we go. Yeah, 3.5 million coins. And that's going to take a little while to work up to, to say the least. So the goal is to try to get one of those volcanoes, uh, uh, several of them, in fact. They're, they're just so cool. Like, here's the sleeping volcano, and it's awesome enough. Uh, it's 10% uh, bonus, and then we've got the 30% bonus with the meteor crater. And what is the bonus with the active volcano again? 25% bonus, which is really cool. So we would probably put that like, mm, I could probably right here is where I would think we would put one. And then like another one maybe right over here, over in our carnivore area. So there's gonna be a lot of cool decorative additions. And there's also been a lot of evolutions. So let me see, a lot of evolving these little guys. Hey, stop that. So I'm trying to zoom in. Ah, curse you resources, curse you. There we go. There we go. All right. There's also been a lot of evolving going on behind the scenes because it takes a long time to get lucky with our petri dishes and whip up the right amount of whatever genetic chemicals we need to evolve these little ones. But I've been trying to get some of the lesser, um, lesser in strength little dinosaurs leveled up like this guy. Look. Yeah. Aren't you so fierce? Our little, uh, Creatosaurus, I'm gonna pronounce everything wrong, I'm sorry. Our Velociraptors, Mossback, they are all now four stars. So we have several, I believe Tracy's four stars. Yeah, we, we got Tracy up to four stars. We've got Annie the Ankylosaurus up to four stars. I'm just so proud. Like you feel so proud when you do that. Oh yeah, I haven't forgotten about you. Look at our cute little Stegosaurus. Isn't she just the most adorable thing? She's like, yeah, I'm sassy. What about it, huh? What about it? Look at her. She's prancing around, waving her little tail around. She's so cute. But we're trying to get her up to level 42 because she is one of our stronger gold dinosaurs that we currently have. So Nissa, let's feed you. She's so chunky monkey on her eating though. Look at that, 9,000, 9,000 food every go. It's gonna be like forever before we're able to get her up to her adult size, but we're closing in just six more levels. And then we will have another four star gold creature in our zoo. Or a zoo? Yeah, I guess it's technically a zoo. A park is a better word though. The emperor is four stars. Pebbles is four stars. And I still need, I, the, like I feel bad for these guys. I've tried to get everybody out of baby stage at least. So they're battle ready. So I've tried to do at least that much for them even if everyone has to be on like low rations of their food. I haven't gotten you up out of there yet though, have I, honey? Can I do that? Let me see. Oh, wow, I didn't notice that. Oh, wow, <gasps> maybe we'll be able to get her up. All right, let's upgrade the, or like send them out, send them out. And I do want to upgrade these like one more time because having the feed is so beneficial. I know we need to save our bucks so that we can get a Tronosaurus Rex because it's the only, they were missing two dinosaurs in the Jurassic area that you can get without it being limited edition. And Tronosaurus Rex is one of them. Let's see, can we get Nissa? Come on, Nissa. Yes, look at her, she's full size now. Wonderful. Ah, for crying out loud, let me, let me look at my dinosaurs. <coughs> ah, never mind, it won't let me zoom in again. So yeah, she, almost there, almost there. Yes, look at that, getting closer. And we'll get you leveled up too so you can be battle ready as well, my dear. Oh, so wonderful. We're taking good care of these guys. Well, let's go ahead and hatch the eggs because like I said, I've been trying to get a whole bunch of the um, 
the lesser, like when the, the gold levels or the really strong ones that we're pouring all of our resources into are like locked in the egg for a while, then I'll like spam the food to everybody else to try to give them a chance to get a good meal. And this little one, the coffee set, boom! Oh, we just leveled up, sweet! Yay, more buckaroos for us! Yay, another new area we've unlocked! No, I'll read it later! <laughs> but the compies, yeah, what's up little guys? They are another area where we have recently um, managed to get them evolved, so that makes me happy. Have to work on our Trodons. Emperor, you're already evolved. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Look at the little fat head. Look at that little fat bobblehead. That's adorable. Oh, so cute. But we just got over here Professor Albert. Uh, we just got him leveled up so that he could evolve, and he's doing pretty well. Let's feed him. Look at you go, buddy. Good amount of ferocity, good amount of HP. There we go. Used up all that food. But good for you, buddy. Good for you. I'm so proud. Like, I, when one day we can turn around and everybody here is four stars, I'll feel awesome. But how we're going to do the other areas, because we haven't really visited the aquatic area. Look at, our, look at our amazing aquarium, by the way. Isn't that not the coolest thing? I love our Mosasaurus aquarium. That is just too cool. But how we are going to manage in the future uh, doing like the aquatic abyss and the glacial area is that we will pour our money into here for the volcano as long as we are still missing the last two dinosaurs. Or the last dinosaur, I should say. Not the T-Rex. The T-Rex, that's bucks and we'll just have to wait there. But as long as we're still missing the last dinosaur, then we'll pour our bucks in here. And as soon as we have it, we'll start expanding in the aquatic and glacial areas because we want to make sure we expand that quite a bit as well because uh, that means more places to go get coins from so we can get even more really awesome decorations, which are so cool. We should put like some palm trees up along this side for sure. But let's finish up some quests. However, on that note, there's a good chance that today from these rubble piles that we cleared out, including my precious mushrooms, looking for more amber, there's a good chance that today could be the day we find the very last Jurassic dinosaur in this, like, that you can find the amber for. So, whew, let's, let's clear, well, let's clear, let's uh, build this Ferris wheel first so that we can finish off the Have Two Ferris Wheels quest. Boom! There you go, Hammond! That was a fun activity for the whole family. Sure, some people snuck out to see the dinosaurs, but who can blame them? That's why they're here. You can ride a Ferris wheel like any country fair, sir. I think some of our guests are part of unofficial Dr. Malcolm and Dr. Grant clubs, though I think we shouldn't tell them. We should so. We had a lot of visitors to Jurassic Park so far, but the most important is still to come. Yeah, we expanded the park. Sweet, that was easy. This new expansion will be the first place visited by the special guest. I hope they approve. Who's the special guest? Okay, he's back again. Move five herbivores, feed herbivores ten times. Okay, well, we can manage that pretty quickly. Alright, I'm gonna put you there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. And we'll pretend to move you. We'll pretend to move you. We'll pretend to move you. We'll pretend to move you again. Alright, that counted. And then we have to feed the herbivores ten times. That's going to be hard. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, we're just short. Just short on enough food to do that. Oh, well. All right. So let's see if we have the amber piece. Oh, we did it. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, our wonderful, like, volcano. It, this is the last Jurassic dinosaur that we can find through amber. There's lots more that we can get through special events, that we can get through, um limited edition and we still need the t-rex which we need bucks for but i can't believe it we found the last one now it's just a matter of sitting here and crossing our fingers for some lucky petri dish action if we go through almost a million coins and don't end up with this guy it will be a sad day in the laboratory indeed but we should be all right all right let's keep going come on good Almost there, almost halfway there at least. Yes! That's wonderful. We should have some very proud doctors working for us. Yes! Oh, victory! When you're halfway there, that is just the best feeling in the world because everything else, it just feels easier. It's like going up the hill. Alright. Oh, we're on... I don't...
don't want to say it, but I I shouldn't have even thought it. I was going to say a lucky streak and I ruined it. <laughs> and those kind of superstitious things show up so often in laboratories too. I have many fond memories of Microlab and its little quirks. All right, we're almost there. Come on, little guy. Don't you want to come be part of our zoo? Zoo? I keep calling it a zoo today. Don't you want to come be part of our park? Our awesome dinosaur park? I wonder if this is an herbivore or a carnivore. I'm not sure. Come on. I'm not spending any of my bucks, so you can stop telling me to retry. That's right, see? We're just going to fund it the good old-fashioned way. Because Pebbles can, like, refund... 15,000 coins within an hour because she's amazing and people donate tons to her. There we go! <gasps> we did it! The Dryosaurus is here! And we have enough money to get it! Yes! I have no idea if it is a carnivore or an herbivore. I'm assuming herbivore, maybe? Maybe? So I guess I'll put it over here for now? Maybe? Perhaps? Okay, put it there. <gasps> There's gonna be two of them! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, we'll put this over here and we'll move you down over here for now so there's room to like put some items and run a road by you but there we go this is the very last little jurassic critter and it's gonna take a while to hatch oh my gosh 48 entire hours and then some okay it's gonna take a while for that little guy to hatch or guys i should say but that's it you guys that's the very last jurassic animal other than the T-Rex, and other than the special limited edition ones, there, there are no more Ambers to be found. They're, like, there's our Tyrannosaurus, but everybody else is already created. And you know what that means? Yep, we will be moving to the aquatic area now. Before we go, though, I just want to check on what quests we're working on. Build 20 roads to handle the tourists who visit because of Kelly's reports. Well, we'll go ahead and do that real fast. Alright, let's see. Just because I kind of want to get some of these quest thingies out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to fix that. Well, I guess I guess that's one way to build 20 is make horrific road errors that make you wanna just like redo everything. Are we almost there? There's 20, boom. All right, that should help. I think she's learned more about investigative journalism at Jurassic Park than she has at school. I wonder why, dude, I wonder why. Collect 10,000 coins from buildings, have 1,000 crops. We can try working on that. Have the Dino Wrangling Circus. Everyone loves the circus. Okay, so that's something we'll have to work on. Sell five decorations to clear some space. Feed herbivora 10 times. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to work on some of these things. Let me clear up the road mess. Clear you up and clear you up. Hmm, there's not really a, a tidy way to put these roads down, so let's just do this. There we go. And then let's go ahead and clear it. Whoops, a daisy. Didn't mean to clear all of that up. Like that, okay. And then sell five decorations. Why are you guys always making me part with my, my wonderful decorations? We'll sell the weak ones, I guess. One, that was the carnivorous plant. Um, tree fern's pretty okay, though. Eh, the red rock. Rothalus could probably go too. Thank you, Tracy. Any more carnivorous plants over here? Yeah. Okay, three, four, five. That should finish that off. I feel a little better after some fresh air. There we go. Look, and then he gave us some food. Activate the crop harbor two times. Activate the meat harbor two times. Well, that's going to take a while. But we can actually come over here now. Feed this one. That should be ten times. It's essential that we make a great first impression on our guest. Jeez, there's so many cool quests. They're just like zipping through them. Move five carnivores. Feed carnivore five times. No problem. We can do that super easy. It's so weird when we like finally finish leveling up some of them. And like that's it. There's no more, no more food involved with the feeding. Alright, let's see. What is... Who wants the least amount of food for now? You do! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. There! All the dinosaurs are as well managed as we can manage. Uh, or well organized as we can manage. Okay. Manage even. Alright. Now what? Collect from 10 buildings. Collect from dinosaurs 20 times. Collect 440,000 coins from dinosaurs. That's going to take me a little while, but good to know that's what he's, he's on about. And I want to put down some more decorations, but we'll hold off on that for now. I had to remove so many of them. It's so weird.
tired when they're like, get rid of the, the decorations we've spent money on for this quest. Why? Why, Doctor? Why did you make me do it? It's just so odd to me. All right. How are we doing now? Let's check on that dino wrangling circus in just a minute. It's going to take a long time to collect 10,000 coins from the buildings. Yeah, it's going to take a while to activate those, and it's going to take a while to do that. One in a million. The special guest is almost here, and we don't have a grand prize. Hmm. I wonder if that's why we have to collect so much money. All right, speaking of money, let's find the dino wrangling circus so I can get an idea of how much it's going to cost us. Was that it? No, that's the hot air balloon. Okay, so it's going to be about 400,000 coins-ish for the dino wrangling circus, which I imagine will just end up sticking back here somewhere in this little, like, amusement park zone. Okay, so we'll worry about that later, though. For now, now that we've fed everybody, we've tended to everybody, let's see, you, my friend, need that food. And you, Nissa, you're such a big piggy. I don't have enough food for you, so you're just gonna have to wait. Let us pop over to the aquatic area and see what can be done over here. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, there we go. Expedition team, first thing. The deep sea kelp the deep sea kelp abyss, as I call this area. There we go. And now we can start collecting from these guys. And we can start expanding and working over here uh, for real. <laughs> Instead of just having to put it off all the time. So I think the first thing we'll want to do is put some research into the pieces of uh, fossil, like the, the frozen fish fossils that we've managed to dig up. So let's see if we can get this little one. Hello there! There's a little start to you, huh? Yeah, look at you! So we've got a start to inviting this little one into our deep sea kelp abyss. Which is very beautiful. It's just super expensive down here. So I had a feeling taking good care of our Jurassic dinosaurs so that we can collect tons and tons of coins from them was an important first step in getting this area properly decked out. All right, there's that. Good. Good. All right, halfway there. Good. Oh, so nervous. I bet we won't be able to afford it when we finally finish, like, using all of our money on this research. That would be so ironic, but that's probably what's going to happen. Which again, that's why we took so much time in working in the Jurassic Zone first. It was the logical decision to build those dinosaurs up, to put lots of decorations down so that we got lots of coins from them to fund our research down here. The Basilosaurus! Oh, that sounds so cool! And I was right, it's super expensive! And so are you! And so are you! Wow, I have a lot more things that we we actually got than I realized. <laughs> There's a lot of creatures down here just waiting to pop out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That one's really cool looking. Okay, so let's decode this one. Our frozen, frozen fish fossils, I should say. That is so cool. Oh, and it sounds like it very, very vaguely... It sounds like whales making a bunch of noise. I could probably come down here and just be forever happy at the beautiful area and everything that it has to offer. Hello there. Let's try again. Almost there. Hopefully we can get this done. If not, it'll be okay. We'll come back down when we have more money. And then we can start clearing areas out. We can start evolving. We can start expanding. Putting down decorative items. We have not yet. Several of these guys are ready to evolve. We just haven't gotten there yet. Because they're, they're kind of pricey, huh? Not as pricey as my newest dinos, though. I will admit that. Alright, there's that. Good. Almost there. There we go. Alright. Just hang in there, coins! Hang in there! We're almost there! And then we can figure out what the heck this little guy is. Dang it! Of course I had to say something. Oh, sweet! Please! Dang it! <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna remain a mystery till next time! Oh, fudge knuckles, I think. Yes! Oh, perfect! That was the last bit that we had! The Phasmoridia, huh? <gasps> 
I need those in my life. They're so cute. I need those. Oh my goodness. Okay. They're going to be the first thing we add in because I definitely need that. But look at all of these guys. Okay, so we're going to start working on our aquatic zone up next, everybody. We have finished off all of the dinosaurs that we can obtain through coins and amber up in the Jurassic zone. And we're going to start clearing away some of these kelp forests, kind of tidying them off, and then double checking what our missions are over here and starting to really work in this area next. So I really look forward to it and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.